Hello and welcome to Administration Update with your hosts, Christopher Mitchell and Jason Ewalls. This is the holiday version of... Uh, what the heck is going on? Oh, I'm sorry. We've got the nutcracker there. Um, we've got some nice decorations for you and uh, welcome you all. hope you had a wonderful Thanksgiving and in advance, Jason, I wish you a happy... Uh, well, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. So let's get started. A couple things we want to update the board, uh, the board and the community. Uh, we have some holiday hours that are coming up. Yes, with the holidays, uh, you know, time to enjoy uh, family, friends. So the administration offices will be closed Friday, December 23rd and Monday, December 26th. This is for the Christmas holiday. And then the offices will be closed, admin offices on Friday, December 30th and January 2nd, Monday, uh, in, in um, for the New Year holiday. So offices will be closed, admin offices. Now, the facilities as a whole will be closed Christmas Day and New Year's Day, so please plan accordingly. Also, other departments have limited hours during that time, and so what I'd like you to do is if you can go online, look at the club calendar, we'll have those times that uh, the facilities are open. Just in case you're wondering, is Brian there? In the pro shop, I want to go buy some last minute gifts. Uh, we'll have those times available to you. So that's uh, what we're talking right now on the holiday hours. Uh, Jason, what else do we got going on? Uh, yes, thanks, Chris. Um, something that came up uh, yesterday, we did have the listening session that we do with the board, uh, with two board members once a month. And it is the first Monday of the month at 3.30 in the Sandwich. But uh, something that came up was watering. Uh, residents are still seeing a lot of runoff. Mm -hmm. um, most of the runoff you see is from resident runoff coming from their properties. So they just asked if we can uh, send out a little reminder, you know, letting you know to make sure you are cutting back on your sprinkling time. It is winter time. Don't need to get so much water out there. Um, if you, you know, you can always talk to your gardeners about uh, cutting down on your timer. Um, also with that, the question was, well, why do I see the golf course still watering as much as they always have? Or, you know, when it's raining, why do I still see the sprinklers going on? Well, there's a couple things with that. First off, the mandate from the governor did exempt golf courses. Uh, they are recreational use, so they can still be watered. And then when you see it being watered during the rainy time, when it's raining, what it is is our irrigation comes from the lakes. The lakes that we have here feed the irrigation and the water going on the golf course. So when we have the rain, those lakes are filling up. And if they overflow, it compromises the integrity of the liner. And we don't want that to happen. So what has to happen is we've got to lower that level down. And how do we do that? Turn on the sprinklers to the golf course. So again, that's why you'll see some sprinklers on when it is raining out there, is we are trying to monitor that level within the lakes and make sure it does not overflow. Uh, so with that, Chris, I know that kind of gives an update with watering. And unfortunately, we're still under all those uh, water restrictions. But uh, we do have a lot of events coming up at the end of the year. And I know yes. you have some things to say about that. Oh, so let me talk about that, of course. Now, not only do we have the regular events with the clubs and, and groups having their holiday events, but uh, there is a Christmas brunch. If you go online to the club calendar utilizing uh, the website, uh, we have some flyers up there about the holiday brunch for Christmas. Now, right now, we still have tickets available. The event will be held Saturday, December 24th from 11 to 2 p.m. Uh, this is a ticketed event. And so tickets can be purchased at, purchased at the hostess stand. Uh, the price is $34.95 for adults, $17.95 for children 6 to 11, and children under five are free. So therefore, I need to bring Isabella. <laughs> Um, you can, of course, add champagne if you want. That's $10 per person. You can do that at the table when you get there. Now, it is a ticketed event, as I said earlier, so please go to the hostess stand, buy your tickets. Uh, those spaces are filling up fast. And we did have a New Year, or we do have upcoming a New Year's Eve event, but those have been sold out. Uh, there's 208 tickets that were available at $65. Those have been sold out, but you can still add your name to the waiting list at Recreation. Go to the Recreation Department in the main clubhouse, uh, sign a say, ask the receptionist, I'd like to be put on the waiting list for the New Year's Eve event, and we'll put your name on there. If somebody who has already purchased a ticket can't make it, uh, we'll make sure we'll start going on the wait list and see who is still interested. So definitely try to put your name on that wait list, but as of now, it is sold out. 
Um, we're going to be giving you some current projects and future projects. So Jason, right now, why don't we go over and give an update uh, we did last month on some of the projects. It's some big projects people are excited about. Mm -hmm. Pickleball, why don't you give us an update? Yep. Uh, first off, uh, the one that is completed. We uh, have completed the, the perimeter wall paintings. So you'll see um, all the, the white wall along um, Highland Springs mm -hmm. Road, uh, Sun Lakes Boulevard, and Highland Springs. Uh, that has been painted as well as all through Country Club Boulevard, mm -hmm. or sorry, Country, <laughs> Country Club Drive, yes. um, and some other areas where you see that white wall. Yes, yeah, uh, so, Banny, not uh, Palm Desert. Yes. Okay. That's right, yes. <laughs> Um, uh, also, so that's done, and what they've done there is they've moved into the subs, which I'll update yep. later. But um, current project with the pickleball course, that's the huge one going on right now. Uh, I will say it, it has been delayed a little bit. Reason being mm -hmm. is the board did want to add uh, a, a pony fence in there separating the court into four quadrants. Mm -hmm. um, also uh, putting in a larger awning. What was there before with the shade covering was perfect for two tennis courts. It was. Yeah. But now you're going to have eight pickleball courts, yes. just not sufficient. So the board said, let's expand that. So now there's a 30 foot by 10 foot uh, covering there that'll add some additional shade. And that's a good idea because right now with that many people, I definitely want to have them right, right. some shade uh, for them. We do have some benches on order, yes. some uh, you know nicer benches to put there. Uh, it'll be a nice facility there. We'll have a refrigerator there to keep the drinks cool during the summertime mm -hmm. uh, that uh, players can use. Um, so looking forward to that. So with that, with those all of those additions, have had to push back the resurfacers. Um, we did push them back from the original start date at the beginning of November mm -hmm. uh, to get these completed here. Um, unfortunately, their time fills up as well. Uh, we are looking at right after Christmas of getting them out here to be able right. to take care of it. So we're looking at the very end of December, coming into the first week or two of January to get that project completed. But once it is, it's going to be a, a top class facility. Over that there. will. That will. Um, also, uh, another project that we have coming up and has been ongoing and been talked about is the gates, yes. the waterfalls at the gates. Yes. Um, I know that the Common Area Committee has submitted a recommendation to the board, uh, which the board will be reviewing uh, this Wednesday, yes. you know, as, as of the filming, uh, the, day before the, the, the day before the, the board meeting. Uh, but yeah, they will be reviewing that and getting the uh, recommendations from the committee. I know the committee also did some work on the fountain in front of the clubhouse. Mm -hmm. uh, that is complete with the exception of three large boulders that we are waiting on mm -hmm. to come in. Um, other than that, uh, that's kind of the current projects. Chris, I know we have some future ones we coming do. up. And I know you'll talk a little more on those. We do. Thank you. So, uh, you know, in the past, it's been talked about the lounge expansion. And, and one thing that the, the current board is doing is, is pushing that forward to really, hey, we want to see what it looks like. What is the potential cost? Uh, because in, in the discussions that I know I've, I've heard them is that Sun Lakes really is a social area, a social environment. It, it's uh, in the past, you know, before COVID, people loved coming together with their groups, their clubs, uh, just to go out and have fun at, at dinner, hear some music. COVID kind of shut everything down and what we're seeing is people come back. What we're seeing also is that lounge is getting pa is packed. Uh, Monday Night Football, for example. Those used to be really slow in the past, and they've started getting momentum as people, again, coming out to socialize, see friends. And so the board, I think, has made a good decision to start looking at, you know, what is the possibility? What could it look like? What is the cost of it? Uh, and, and those are things that they're working on right now. And, and with that, uh, there's a floor plan that they have, um, and that will be on display at the open session. Now, remember, the December 7th open session starts at 1 p.m., and there will be some display boards that have the layout of the uh, uh, potential lounge. Uh, also some ideas for different colors, different furniture that uh, we could have. Uh, one of the things definitely we, we want to be um, cognizant of is that even though the chairs could be nice, they can't be that heavy. Um, you know, are they at the right height? Because some of our members, hey, out, are fine sitting in bar stools. Some, nope, not comfortable. I want a, a, a more comfortable chair to sit in at the lounge. And so those things are being looked at as well. And so this is exciting time to, to, to see this as something uh, talked about in the past. Now we're starting to, to move forward to start actually looking at it and seeing what it potentially could be. And from there, make a decision to pull the trigger to move forward or not. Uh, the clubhouse, car, uh, the ballroom, carpet and paint. Uh, this is something that's moving on, moving forward as well. Uh, the board approved the carpet 
And there are some, so what will be at the open session on 12-7, we'll have some display boards of, this is the carpet, this is the potential colors to get input from the, the members of, of what they, they like. And uh, then they can comment to the board on that. And so uh, that meeting on the 7th at 1 p.m., it's gonna have a lot of information. It will be recorded. We're also going to scan some of these items and work with our Good Day Sun Lakes team to put that on the website as well. And, and so that's exciting. Uh, another future item that we're, we're working on with the board, again, board has really emphasized the communication to the community. In what ways can we better our communication? And so you're gonna be seeing that as the new year rolls, rolls around in 2023, is that we're gonna change up some things, some more coordination between the departments uh, with uh, getting the information out on the restaurant. I know that's been a concern with members of, I didn't know the event was happening until a week before. And so our job that we're working with, and we have a good team with Good Day Sun Lakes, Hernan is kind of planning out and advertising, marketing that in advance. Uh, also, uh, Bob Murray has uh, graciously donated um, some uh, display boards that we're gonna be putting up in the uh, clubhouse, and, and this will be a trial, uh, or a, not a... No, it really is a trial. Yeah, it is, yeah, I guess. We want to try to see if it works and mm -hmm. invest in more to put at the other clubhouses. Correct, it's really and, and it's just like what you have at hotels. You go in, and if you've gone to a Marriott Hilton, they've rolled these out for years now. You can go get what, what's happening. You, it's a touch screen. What's the weather today? What is happening? What's the calendar? And it's there, available. Because sometimes members have come to the front desk and the receptionist is either on the phone, they can't ask the question, well, we're going to have those boards out there so it can provide some information to the members. And continue to use lifestyles and strategically put in information in there uh, so that the members can get it. Because some members use still use the lifestyles and that's great. We're going to accommodate them and we're going to also work with what we do on our marketing campaigns online the display boards uh, and through social media as well and so uh, this has been a focus the board is working with us on that they they have wanted that information out uh, and so this is another good thing that's coming in 2023 so looking forward to that and with that what what's happening with the subs uh, subs uh, speaking of coming into 2023 uh, we have elections coming up uh, I know the sub elections are a month prior to mm -hmm. the master elections so things happen a little bit sooner. Um, we will have some openings. We do have with Lakeside, we have two openings coming up. Uh, Fairway Bills has three spots and uh, Lakeside 2 has three spots as well. So um, starting December 20th, you'll be able to come to the office and pick up your papers to run for the board. Uh, you'll have a month to turn those in and then uh, we'll go down and uh, we will start uh, sending out the ballots. But uh, so keep in mind that if you wanna run for the board for the subs, not as much time commitment as the master, as we all know. It's yes. a quarterly meetings um, with a couple extra added in there, you know, throughout the year possibly. But um, definitely a good way to serve without committing a lot of time. Uh, so you do have to live in those sub associations to be on the board, though. Uh, but again, December twentieth, you can start picking up your papers to run for the board for the sub associations. Um, Lakeside Two just want to let you know, like we talked about, the completion of the perimeter wall. Mm -hmm. uh, they have moved, those painters have moved into the sub-association and now on Lakeside 2 doing the trim painting. So that'll be going on um, uh, with uh, some woodworking. They're finished up some woodwork, some fashion boards and everything that have deteriorated over time. But they are doing that. They are working down Hogan and then they'll come down Palmer and um, finish up and come around the community and then hit the interiors. Uh, they are posting notices on the units prior to being, come, uh, being done. So make sure you look at that and... Uh, other than that, that project should take probably another two and a half months to finish up. Good deal. Um, also, I wanted to make a, a notice to everyone that assessments are increasing as of January uh, 1st, 2023. So with that, uh, the Lakeside um, assessment starting January 1st will be 174. Lakeside 2 will be 165. And Fairway Villas will be 157. Also with the Master Association, the Sun Lakes uh, assessment will be going to 346. So uh, keep in mind, make sure if you do it automatically or through ClickPay, go in there yes. and update it and change it. Good point. Uh, to make sure that you don't get behind in the new year. Good point. Uh, with that, Chris, that kind of finishes what's going on in the subs. Good deal. So uh, again, I want to wish happy holidays to all the members of the community. 
Uh, in January, Jason and I will give a recap of our uh, respective football teams, and we'll see what draft order we're in at that point. <laughs> but the Browns don't have to worry because they got rid of all their first-round picks for someone. Uh, with that, also, uh, some more information will come out. Again, updating you on the marketing plans that will be coming out in January. Uh, what were some new hours that will be in the sandwich? Uh, some other items, uh, initiatives that the board is working on to improve your experience in food and beverage. So a lot of exciting things happening in 2023. And so looking forward to that new year. Yep. So on behalf of Jason Ewalls, myself and this guy behind me right here, uh, everyone have a happy holidays. Take care. Happy holidays.